Hey everybody, welcome to another week here at the Tutoring. We're working again on the French train. Um, we are trying to get everything done here before I'm heading out for Brazil on November 5th. And so therefore I have this the next week to get the French train finished. I am waterproof this week. I'm waterproofing the house and starting on the French train piping um, all the way. So we will see how far um, itself we're getting, but hopefully we make good progress. Further, um, I get the, the guys here again uh, and they actually started taking down the fence all the way around the property so that next week uh, maybe they can get started um, on taking down some of the shrubs and they will probably also help me filling up the French train with uh, some more gravel. So the next step that we have to do is we have to start waterproofing the brick wall. I just cleaned it all up so that I can put a polymeric um, membrane on there. And then I also have some plastic waterproofing that is going to go over it. But first I want to uh, figure out exactly where the level is so that I can try to waterproof that entire section, especially if we later on use this as a driveway. So we'll obviously have a more flat area so I want to waterproof it the entire way where I need to do that.
So the next step before we uh, start putting the gravel and the fabric on top is I want to, right there where it's all folded up, um, I want to put another layer of dirt on top, so about an inch, so that in case the water comes down into the French drain, it doesn't just go underneath the plastic and then back up on the wall. It doesn't break over there. So we are just going to put about an inch of dirt and then dampen it down. So that way we got a nice um, surface and the plastic is covering us all the way. Now that we have this all tucked in and flattened and nice compacted, we will start putting in the fabric and then some gravel on top so that we can put the pipes in and see if everything is completely flat before we glue it all together. Okay, let me explain exactly what we are doing here. So I put this fabric in. This fabric is made so that the water, with, when it comes to the dirt, obviously has a lot of sediment, a lot of extra particles of uh, dirt and other things in it. And so this is to, to filter that material out, uh, filter the water out. So it's gonna be a little bit more clean. So um, that if the pipe is in there, it doesn't start clogging up the pipe. So this is just a filtration system. And then what we're doing here is we're putting about an inch thick of rock on the bottom first, and then the pipe is gonna go right on top of that. And then after that, we're gonna open all the fabric all the way up. We're gonna fill the entire section with more gravel. And then at the end, we're gonna put another fabric on top so that it obviously filters also if the water comes from the top. And then we fill the rest of the entire channel up with more gravel because it's just obviously a better way to let water drain instead of just dirt. So one of the things I'm doing before I put all the rock in is I'm washing it because since this is only crushed rock, I couldn't get any round river rock, but it's pre-washed. So since it's all just crushed rock, it has a lot of debris in it. Obviously sediment, sediment from the other crushed rock that just got uh, pulverized. So I'm trying to wash um, all of it beforehand so that not all of that sediment is already right away in the, inside the fabric area. Thank you. 
So the next step is to at least lay down the pipe to see how it is before we glue it all together. But I want to obviously figure out exactly how le what lengths I need and then we get going from there. So the next thing I want to do is I want to start in this corner and start filling gravel around it so that um, it's secure, the pipe is not going to move anymore and I can uh, continue from there. So we made some good progress with our first scoop here. The first scoop got us almost into the corner here and about a third of the way on this side, which means we'll probably need about two more, two and a half more scoops next week and then we'll have this filled. So we'll have to work hard next week because the place where I picked this up uh, closes at 12. So we have to get in the first three hours of the day. We got to get those two scoops in or at least pick up those two scoops to see where uh, we are going to end up. Well, I think this is it for this time. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I see you the next time I turn on the camera. Bye.